Sometimes it takes a comedian to really get it out of people to see exactly where they are. Why are people so scared about CRT? Is it really critical race theory that they're scared about? Absolutely not. You know what they're scared about? They are scared about hearing the truth about history and having that placed in their face. As if they're responsible. I mean, the responsible thing. Well, let's talk about that later. Let's see what W. Kamau Bell did, and then we'll take it on the other side. This is beautiful. Should we teach kids a more accurate history of America? Race uh, theory? Uh, What'd you say? Uh, Here we go. Race theory. Race theory. The race? Uh, critical race theory. What are your thoughts on that? You can teach it without having an opinion. But is it okay if a teacher says, I think slavery was bad? Is that okay? No. 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 I'm, <laughs> no. no. What about this? They go, Nazi's not good. Nothing is bad. Nothing's bad. No. And if the latter is how you heard about it first, then I'm not surprised you're confused, which is why I grind my teeth when I sleep. It's totally manipulation and manufacturing a crisis. Who's manufacturing it? The Democrats. It's always a race card. I get so sick of it. <laughs> we need to teach children to compete mm -hmm. when the Chinese probably know more about American history than we do. So we should teach better American history here. Well, yeah. It's like uh, the history of America. History of America. Slavery, genocide, Native Americans. No, well, no. Not that stuff? Well, not the whole thing. No. No. Not the whole thing. Look. The American genocide is instrumental in understanding this country. Slavery is instrumental in understanding this country. It's not about good or bad of America. It's about what is and how we came to be where we are. We became a very rich country on the backs of having slaves. We acquired a ton of land by in genocide in genocidal means. Look, it's not America, the only folks that have done things like that. This stuff has occurred all over the world. But if we're going to understand our history, let's understand our history and let's understand how we are and have been atoning for said history. It's not about being ashamed of something. It's about just telling history. And as this woman said, just we need uh, the Chinese know more about our history than we do. Yes, they do. When I was in Panama, I learned more American history than I learned in the University of Texas and Blinn combined. Most people from around the world know more about America because of people scared of teaching America to Americans. And you know what? We shouldn't be. We should be happy to tell our story, tell the mistakes that we've made, talk about the atrocities we've done, talk about the good things we've done, but let's talk about the country's history. You are very much respected when you then try to promote stuff overseas. But when we are overseas trying to promote a democracy is the way the world should work. And we are fighting here to not even give reparations to those who work for free and built this country on their backs, the wealth of the Many of the, the rich families were on the back of these people. The insurance payments that were made on what used to be property enriched a lot. These are things Americans don't know. Did you know the insurance industry used to insure property, human beings, black human beings as property, and made a killing of doing that from all the slave owners who wanted their properties insured? Universities, all... Why can't we tell the history the way it is? It's not about feeling bad for yourself. It's history. And if we are hearing just the good things, it is not history. It doesn't tell how we got where we are because even the bad things allowed us to be as a country where we are today. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. 
Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.